Okay, so I'm going to take you through building a Weebly site. Uh, I've gone to weebly.com, I've clicked the drop down menu here, and I went up to add a site. First thing it's going to ask me to do is choose a theme. Uh, and you got a lot of themes to choose from. All of these are free. Uh, there are pay sites that you can go to or pay um, services for Weebly that you can um, do. It allows you to do a few extra things. Um, but for right now, keep it keep it simple, keep it free. Um, look for things that aren't real photo heavy. Uh, if you don't use your own photographs, uh, make sure that you're not using the Weebly photographs because they do tend to be kind of generic. I'm going to choose this one. First thing it's going to ask me to do is name the site. Uh, I do need to click on the first portion right here, and I'm going to name it uh, SSU Sample and continue. When you look through this, you have really two things that you're working with. Your build site, which has all your tools. They're all drag and drop. If I need to delete it, I can just click the X box here. And then your pages. As I add a page, it's going to ask me to do a blog page or a standard page. This one will take an external link to, to something I have in my Google Drive or another site that I have. Click standard page and I'm going to name it. Sample lessons and I'm going to click save. And you can see they will add up on the side and when I click the drop down menu, it's right here. This probably isn't a good template to use because it doesn't show my pages offhand. So let's go back to theme and just change the theme for something that might look a little better. I want these drop downs right here. Right here so that an employer can look at it or a class can look at it and see it right away. I'm just going to go ahead and choose it. I know I said don't use a large picture but we're going to go with it anyways. Now you can see that it shows up right here. As I go to the pages, as I continue to add pages, this might be history, um, performance task, save, and it should show up right over here. If I need to move them around in order, it should switch it right there. This actually dropped it down under the home, so as I click home, it'll show up there. I want it to show up as a full uh, page. Once I go in there, I'm going to click onto my performance task page and I'm ready to build it. So I'm going to click the build button and anything I drag and drop into this location is going to add. Right here, sample PT World War II. My text, this will be the body of the text, description, image galleries. Single image, a gallery of images which will add multiple images that you'll see at one time. I prefer the slideshow. I can input documents right from here. Drag and drop the document. I use this a lot when you want to take um, something that you have on your hard drive. You can upload it. It turns it into a PDF right away. If you need to link files, I can actually do that right below and I can upload the file right to here if this were a PDF or Microsoft Word, uh, preferably a Google Doc, and I would upload the file. I can undo it right here and delete right through here. As I continue to build the site, I can just continue to actually add on top of things. If I need to put spacers in between to add a little more space in between um, ideas, and these all work just like your standard, you know, center, color, highlight this, make it a little bigger, center it. What I really like using this for is connecting it with Google Documents. Uh, and I can have the Google Documents right here. Uh, one thing here, the embed code, this is really good, particularly for calendars. Uh, so if you need to get a uh, HTML uh, code from a calendar, you can drag and drop that in here and work with that in this portion here.
that really is the basis for it. Um, store, I've never used settings here. Cool little feature here is you can see what it'll look like on a cell phone. So you can change your um, change your layout to, to better match a cell phone if you're using it. All right, go ahead and get started.